Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today we're gonna be running and gunning on the farm. We're basically running around getting some chores done. I've got a lot of stuff that's been going on over the last few days and basically I have to just play clean up a little bit. We also have a bulldozer and an excavator over here on the other side of the farm. We're gonna go over there, we're gonna check on them, see what they're doing. We're gonna be walking through the woods and marking some places to put fence. In other words, the dozer and the loader are gonna to have to go through the woods and clear pathway for for us to get through with the fence building equipment and with the fences so that we can build our fence. That will start somewhere mid-month, maybe before Christmas we'll start getting some videos. There'll be a huge series of videos coming out, probably four to five videos coming out just teaching you all about fencing, all about what we're doing, and we're using a specific kind of wire called tornado wire. It's supposed to be the best stuff in the country. So anyway, if you want to check that out, you can Google tornado wire. We're using a company called Farm Fence Solutions, so we'll be working closely with those guys. They're gonna be teaching us along the way, and they'll be teaching you along the way, so it's gonna be awesome. Today, we got a run and gun. We got some cleanup to do. I'll take you around, show you what's going on. We'll go in the woods, have some fun together, and have a good day, all right? Woo! <laughs> So we made apple cider. If you didn't see that video, it should be up here somewhere. We made apple cider. And if you didn't see the video of us touring the farm by air, this will give you a better idea of where we're located in this video. Watch that video first where we're touring the farm by air. That'll be up here, okay? We made apple cider. We're making apple cider vinegar, apple juice, all kinds of stuff. And we bought two big bins of apples. So these two bins of apples equal about 2,000 pounds of apples. And we crushed apples. And this is what's left from what we crushed. This has been in the garage or the shop here for four days. Le Pew. So what we got to do is we got to put the bucket on the tractor. These things weigh about, I'd say 250, 300 pounds a piece. We'll put the bucket on the tractor, tip them over in there, and we'll take some and spread it out for the deer to eat, a little bit for the goats and a little bit for the compost. Mostly for the deer though. We might even mix in some corn with it so that the deer are really attracted to it. We're gonna hop on the gator. We're gonna head over the other side of the farm. I gotta catch these guys, talk to them a little bit, grab some flags, and start flagging out some fence line. Water, water, water. like a war zone over here. So guys, they're in here stumping right now. What's happening is the excavator is digging out the stumps and then the loader is pushing them up. Uh, today's progress is... I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with today's progress. I think it's too wet for these guys to be out here. Uh, it's been really, really wet. You can see standing water. I just rode through some puddles over here just just driving through this new ground that we cleared in the spring and it's too wet it's it's just too wet for these guys to be out here so what's happening is i'm gonna have to make somebody mad i'm gonna have to irritate somebody because i'm gonna tell them guys you're, you know it's too wet you're wasting my money you're spinning your wheels 200 bucks an hour you got 100 bucks an hour on each machine right here you do the math it's 1600 dollars a day we got a five thousand dollar budget and we're not gonna burn through our budget on mud. We're gonna burn through our budget on solid ground. All right, enough of that fussiness. So what's gonna happen is our fence is gonna come right along the edge right here and it's gonna cut through the woods, a little section of woods right here. There are three sections of woods it's gotta go through. This section, and I'll tie a ribbon down there. We're gonna walk down there. It's down on our creek. Then another little section where there used to be a pond and he's just gotta push some dirt out of the way so we don't have to go over a hump. And then there's another section way up here. We're gonna be fencing in an area that's probably a venture to say it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 45 to 50 acres. I don't want to seem like Mr. Fussy Britches about this, but I, I don't want to waste my money either. Um, looking and I walked out through there, it seems to me that it needs another day of drying out, but we'll just have to take a look. I'm going to ride down here a little closer to where they're working. It's not that bad. 
let's go over here sometimes you have a habit of jumping the gun when you're spending this much money jumping the gun and saying something too early so I'm not gonna say anything to them yet uh, it's wet but it's not that wet and you can see the big stumps and the big piles of debris we have to have the excavator out here in order to throw these stumps up and kick all the dirt out of them so we can burn them up. All this stuff will be pushed up, all this debris will be pushed up into a pile and probably lit on fire next fall. Let's go down here on the fence line and see how wet it is. Okay, so you can see my ribbons tagged out through here and that'll be field right there. This will be a wooded area where the cows can get some shade. And basically the line will come straight through here and go right straight up through there in the straightest possible line I can make with the least impact on the forest and the land. In other words, I don't want to disturb the land any more than I have to and I don't want to spend any more money than I have to. Now the fence needs to be as straight as possible so we don't have to put all kinds of braces and corners and stuff right there. We're going to go up to the other spot and I'll show you that. So here's our corner post and we're going to basically draw a straight line through here go up this way just a little bit there's a uh, hay wagon up there you can see it we're gonna go up that way just a little bit and I'll show you where we shoot down through the woods so the corner post is directly out that way that's where the corner goes we're gonna bring the fence line straight down through here and straight down through the edge of this woods right here so in other words I'm gonna clear all this stuff out there are a bunch of stumps and a basically a gully right here and this is the next place that the guys are gonna be over here working with the excavator and the loader there's probably another day and a half worth of work here so all in all they'll probably be out here for three and a half days something like that to get all this work done that we're doing right now the budget originally was three thousand dollars we've extended our budget to five thousand dollars just to get this work done so that it's done before we get fences in place and we don't have to work around fences now the line will shoot straight down through the woods here it will make a hard right hand turn there'll be a gate where we can access this timber right here if we need to so basically we're cutting ourselves out of about an acre and a half of forest right here but it doesn't matter because there's nothing I can do with it it's a hole so things you got to think about when you're buying land is try not to buy a hole if you can help it now this is basically the worst gully on the entire farm on this side of the farm the other side's got some beautiful rocky creek gullies and stuff like that it's not really usable land it's beautiful this isn't beautiful this isn't usable it's just garbage the timber guys were gonna cut up in here but it was so steep and there was just not timber it, there just wasn't any timber in here to speak of so we're gonna cut a straight line straight down through here make a right hand turn and finish fencing the bottom we're gonna ride down in that bottom now and I'll show you where we got to cut through the woods down there and that's a very very easy cut through probably a hundred yards so I went up and I talked to the guys running the equipment and asked them about how wet it was and if it was a bad thing for them to be working today and they said no it's okay as long as they're working up the hill in other words if he's pulling a stump and his excavator is pointed down the hill it'll slide down but if he's pulling it and he's working pulling the stump down the hill pulling the excavator up the hill then it's just fine we're gonna ride down here all this area is a cutover. In other words, there's stumps in there that have to be pulled out. They were cut about a year and a half ago, and the stumps have started to rot, so they'll be easy to pluck out. What I'm saying is, this pasture will be connected to that, and that will be pasture also. We're cruising down here. There is a significant creek that runs along this bottom. It's all the way out through here. Water comes all the way up into these pastures right here. And that's something to consider when building this fence. We'll cruise down here a little bit. Now we're at the bottom of the hill from where we were just pointing down for the fence line and basically the fence line is going to go straight through that open pathway right there it'll come to here it'll make a hard right hand turn shoot out that way and follow the tree line all the way around all the way down the creek line then we're going to pop through another section of forest right here 
Now that section of forest will be easy to push through. There was a pond right here. So this whole area was a pond. The guy dammed the creek up and I'm told that the government came in and told him he had to bust his dam because he filled up the entire valley, which included the other guy's property across the road, which is pretty shady. It's, it's not cool. You can't do that stuff. So right back here, is the pond dam and that's what has to be pushed out of the way so you got probably a 20 foot section of pond dam we're just going to push it back kind of against the creek so when the creek comes out of its banks it keeps the water and the debris in the creek and not in the field and in the fence another thing to consider eat him boy Now that I've shown you guys what we're going to do, I'm going to take the loader operator on the gator with me and show him exactly what my plans are and what I need him to do. He's a smart guy, he knows what he's doing, and he also raises cows so he'll know the best way to cut through the woods to make the fence happen. Pretty cool. There's a lot of thought at play on the farm here. There's a lot of thought that has to go into every little tiny piece. Things you don't realize when you're driving by a farm is somebody had to plan all this out. And if you plan it wrong, you make a mistake, it's gonna cost you in the future. All right, got some scratch grain for our big chickens, for our egg layers, and we've got a little bit for our meat birds who are out on pasture over here. We'll show you that basically every day. Just gotta fill up the feeder, the water, and move the chickens and get all this stuff and put it in their food barrels. Cool. If you haven't seen our meat birds, these are our meat birds. There'll be a link up here. We've got a whole series on how to raise chickens and raising chickens to feed your family. So basically there's a big long feeder in there. I'll scoop it, fill it full, fill the water, move the chicken coop, drop the water and the feeder in there, and they're good for another day. Every day we move them to a different paddock of grass throughout the yard or throughout the pasture. Eventually this will be a rolling cycle with about 10 or 15 of these and we'll sell chickens to the public. Right there is where they went through the yard. So we'll basically run them back and forth, back and forth. And we're gonna fence in our old garden here and let them peck through the garden too and get some yummy garden goodies. So one 50 pound pail, it's a 10 gallon pail. We'll fill this thing up four times. That means it'll last for four days. The birds are eating somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 and a half pounds of food per day. It's on about 40 birds, 40 meat birds or so. Give or take two or three. Next, we'll take the food to the big chickens over here. I'll show you how we store our food outside for our laying hens. Pretty simple, pretty easy, and mouse proof. So here is how we store our chicken feed for our big chickens. And it's just in a pickle barrel with a screw top. Pretty simple, pretty waterproof. No water gets in there, good to go. Next nice warm day we get and we've got time, this thing's gotta get cleaned. I haven't cleaned it in about a year. That's a lot of poop. That's a lot of good butt fertilizer for the garden too. Honeybees are rocking. Check it out. All four hives are rocking it out. Let's get a little close up. Nice. Next thing we got to do is grab the tractor, take a bale of hay and toss it into the goats and then we'll get the bucket on the tractor and we'll dump all this old apple squishy nasty mess in there and we'll dump it out for the deer. I'm going to go hunting tonight.
So we're gonna take these two bars, raise them up like so, and that will allow me to drop the pallet forks. And then I'll take these little hooks right here. There's one there, one on the other side. And I'll go over here to my bucket. And I'll line those hooks up right up underneath there on each side. And then I'll push the levers back down. Pretty cool. And that is the skid steer quick attach style loader. Hit him. <laughs> that went super easy. <laughs> Drop those two down. Inevitably, there'll be a mouse under anything it can stay dry under on the farm. So the dogs went after the mouse. It's a good time. It's part of working around here on the farm. We're gonna ride up here with the bucket. We're gonna get in the compost pile a little bit. We're gonna scoop in there, see how hot it is, see if it steams up, and we're gonna get a scoop. Take it way over here where I've got a spot starting to wash. We're gonna put some biologic material in there. what's left over after we made our cider and this is somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand pounds of apples ground up just so you guys know a thousand pounds of apples turns into three giant barrels of pummies I think is what you call it it's just what's left over after the apples and that made 35 gallons of juice. So we juiced 1,000 pounds of apples and only got 35 gallons of juice. That's pretty crazy. Gives me a newfound respect for apple juice and applesauce. We've still got a bunch more stuff we're gonna make with these apples. We're gonna be drying some apples, making apple butter, all kinds of stuff. So we probably, we bought 2,000 pounds or around about 2,000 pounds. So still got half of them left. Ugh. This weighs eh, 250 pounds, something like that. There we go. Oh, that one's heavy. Oh, <laughs> this one got reined in. Come on, little buddy. Oh, yeah, that one got water in it. Oh, yuck. We're gonna take this up and we're gonna dump it right in front of the deer stand. <laughs> Guys, that's all the chores for today. Well, that's all the chores I'm going to take you along with me. Had a pretty busy day. Uh, the guys got started on clearing the fence line over here. We've got a total of probably two and a half to three acres of newly cleared land down where we cut some trees and they'll start in tomorrow on the second spot. They've smoothed out above the pond, just smoothing out a bunch of humps and dumps and jumps and bumps and gullies and stuff like that. So lots of fun stuff going on on the farm. Thought I'd take you along today. Thanks a lot guys. Pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell icon down there to notify you when I post another video. We'll have some more fun on the farm. Alright? Woo! Yeah, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge. Just so everybody knows, it's legal Woo! to feed deer in North Carolina. So it's legal to bait deer. I don't know if I'm really baiting them, I'm just kind of baiting them. <laughs> We're gonna dump these apples. Now I could have put them in the compost heap, but the deer and the wildlife's gonna eat it anyway. Birds and deer and squirrels and mice and all kinds of critters will come and eat that stuff. It smells really yucky. <laughs> See you guys.